Oh, hello, hello, hello there. Welcome to the place that is... Well, Bea? I've been digging down in the archive and found this little replay here, so... Let's see, we have Borobatcher playing as the Soviets, immediately locking in God Motor. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And he is up against Stormjäger, playing as Austere. Now, Stormjäger, we got infantry, German recognized, and assault support doctrine. Uh huh. Bulletins wise, it's the free usual suspects from Borobatcher increased accuracy, faster reload, faster fire. And even faster Siskan production. Hmm. Storm Jäger, he's just got more accuracy for the um, for his uh, grenadiers. And then of course the closed fist, increased range on the Panzerfaust, and again faster pack on production. Borobatcha starting in the well, what's this east area, meaning that he has having the unfortunate. Cutoff point here, which is practically just surrounded by green cover, meaning that if he wants to wire off here, he has so much to wire off. So much to wire off. Whereas, well, down here you have a little bit here. You can get away with just wiring off this section. Also, this over there. Eh. And then, of course, Bayo. The homestead of the magical rocks. I know for a fact that this rock down here gives you green cover in a 360 degree. Uh, may suspect that it's the same thing that applies to this rock. It's so silly. Green cover or not, you cannot survive if you're getting swarmed, but this time around it is Borobecho who's getting swarmed. Stormjäger feeling fine, not going double time, but quattro time with his fourth grenadier. Very early fourth grenadier. Alright, green cover versus green cover. Uh, However, two of the men here cannot return fire, <laughs> so it's essentially four versus four. But this guy here, he's not really in cover. If only the men would <laughs> target him then. <laughs> All right. Fuel switching hands and what's this? Just a sandbag. All right. A little bit of white wire to prevent a sandbag there. Did I press the button? Well, now I did. Ah, flamethrower. Nice. Just in time. Good timing on Borobatch's flamethrower. Notice how he merges conscripts into the flamethrower squad so he can ha keep that high DPS unit on the field for longer as it is getting focused down by the Grins. Ooh, hot. There we go. Could merge in. He's gonna do it. He's gonna merge. He needs to merge. There we go. Potential for a wipe here, but I think he's just gonna focus this. No need to focus this anymore. Go for that. Oh, he gets away. Combat engineers a little bit overextended. Getting chased down by MP40 wielding pioneers. Right. Tech also commencing for Stormjäger. Well, good thing they have one engineer in the squad so he can teach the two others to lay down the mines. And whatever you do, do not... <laughs> do not press that thing. Phew, that's a lot of work for just two conscripts.
Okay, little bit of green wired off. Uh, he has ordered them. No, no, it just disappeared. What was that? There were a little bit of barbed wire there, but for some reason, Storm Jaeger changed his mind. Interesting. Anywho, ta Ooh, Boral Batcher, gonna go with a fast quad mount. Uh, Storm Jaeger, he did escalate up to Battle Phase 1, has yet to get down the Lucky Mickey Nice Company. Uh, probably gonna do it once he's captured the fuel point here. <sighs> Let's see how much damage the M5 can do. Yeah, there we go. Back to base they go. And they're gonna build the Lucky Mickey Nice Company. And then followed by a 2 2 2 and a pack. That's my prediction here. Quad mount. About to be afforded. <laughs> Again, a little bit of barbed wire there. What is this? Okay, quad mount. Yes. The meat chopper. Let's chop some meat. So far, it's just gonna be 150 cal here up front. But it will be replaced by not one or two or three, but actually four. <laughs> because when you just love Swiss cheese. Or in this case, we gotta make it German cheese. Hello. Two, two, two. Oh, he went with the pack gun first. Well, it is fast produced. Thirty seconds. Then apply this. Fifteen seconds. Pretty quick. And there they are. It wouldn't be God Motor without guards. Now would it? Hop, 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 All right, then. He's not gonna get this point here. Storm Jäger. He has an extra squad up here, but this squad? Okay, they're taking a, a good retreat path far away from the M5. Pack gun has been spotted. AT gun pretty close here to the front. And the M5. Okay, not gonna bother circle around here probably for the best as there is a risk of getting Panzer Fausted. Guards. Oh yes, moving out of the green cover, infantry clumped up, grenade hits, massive damage. Oh, this is pretty close. This is so close. To... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, small arms fire is gonna take this thing out now, right? Right? No, it's gonna be a Pat's Faust. Job done. And Storm Jaeger immediately replaces his uh, 2 2 2. Oh no! Yeah, that was the Pioneer Squad that went down. Oh, and a rifle grenade Ugh, to provide some cover for the retreating squad. Pays off. Pays off big time. Oh, 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 oh yes. He is gonna get a wipe here, Storm Jaeger. There we go, one man, and down. Phew. Well, that was a bloody retreat. Anyway, Red Army, once again, back. Back on the field, 2-2-2, two, 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 also back. Um, Borrow Batcham. What did you go for here to help them combat the 2 2 2? You already have the guards. Uh, and oh, there they are. The guards may prove to be enough. Oh, 
think he can't get a Faust, uh, sorry, AG grenade off here. Speaking of grenades, yes, grenade package is unlocked for Borobacha. Now the 2-2-2 two -two -two is free to wreak havoc as the guards are retreating. What's being built by the... Ah, a mine. Alrighty then. Right, just gonna get that victory point up here. Also switches hands. I don't think Storm Jaeger could see that mine be planted. Looks like it will be the 2 2 2 that is gonna be sent up there to deal with the, uh, the enemy. And here we are, Storm Jaeger on point. <laughs> Even the, got down a little bit of green cover of his own. That's pretty neat. All right, time to retreat the Pioneer Squad. 2-2-2 two, two, two is also fighting the combat engineers up there bit by bit. And retreating. Now it's all here where Storm Jäger, he's got a lot of green cover available to him. Not so much for Borbatcha. In fact, he's keeping his men. Out in the open, somewhat, while capping the uh, the cutoff there, and now it's gonna fall back into Stormjager's hands. Guards, they are making a little turn here, is coming back like a boomerang. They are Australian Russians. All right, full retreat, for Batcher, suffering heavy losses. Let's uh, have a quick look at the KD here. 27 kills. Not a lot for Bora Batcher. Not a lot. How about the graphs? Yeah, it's... Here we lost the 2-2-2 the two, two, two and the, uh, the quad mount simultaneously. And since then, Bora Batcher has not bounced back. It is Stormjäger who were quick to bounce back by investing manpower and fuel into the 2-2-2 two -two -two once more. And Stormjäger, has he just escalated up to... Yes, he's begun escalating. I noticed his fuel reserves were pretty low. Uh, but, but, um... At this rate here... It might be better to get the first tank out. He could go for the little T-34, since he is behind, so he can get that T-34 on the field, get some armor to help back up his infantry. Would have to be careful of the pack. But still, it would be a nice thing to have. Would be a very nice thing to have. Of course, he would then just delay his T-34 slash 85, but in this case, I think it's worth it. And Borbatcher seems to agree. Because he's just being harried here. Over and over again. Let's see the build time on this thing. 50 seconds. 50 seconds is a lot of time when the enemy is uh, camping outside of your uh, base exit. And now Stormy, I got double fuel, 39 fuel income. Gonna walk into this thing. Oh, oh, spotted it too late. So fortunately, a man dies, meaning that the rest of the squad are not getting suppressed. Help has arrived. Now the 222 is... Oh, we got spotting scopes. Storm Jäger picking German mechanized doctrine. Right on. Spotting scopes, Panzer IV command tank available to him. And also emergency repairs. But speaking of which... Oh, no, no, no. What? It, it missed? Combat engineers down? Oh, 
Borobacha may have lost the combat engineer, but he got lucky with the T-34. Meanwhile, 2 to 2 is looking. Found nothing. There we are. Sis gun. You just go through the bushes. You're camouflaged, so do it. Mm -hmm. Looking at the VPs, though, despite Stormjäger's uh, huge map advantage, he is a bit behind on VPs. And Trip Flare planted in front of the place where the uh, sandbag used to be. Anyway, Stormjäger with the Panther 4. Settle down, AT gun, field gun, ready to fire, infantry there to back them up, guards nonetheless, notice how it is conscripts models in the uh, in the guard squad, cheap up to reinforce. And again the 2 to 2 <clears throat> bit far away from bet 2, and a grenade, Ooh. Oh, Siskon might be able to capitalize on the 222's position, no? Uh. Alright, T-34 prepared, loaded, ready for a fight. And the fight it's gonna get as the Panzer IV has arrived. Okay, it can actually upgrade these simultaneously? Wow. Nope, oh, wait. What? Cancel set in favor of something else? Don't know what or why. Weird. Hmm. G34 has seen better days and Bora Betcha. I can tell he's saving up for a new tank with all this manpower. Probably gonna be an another small one. If he wanted the big one, he could easily get, say, a combat engineer squad while waiting for the fuel to trickle in. That would be my analysis of what I think is gonna happen. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Not go up. Oh. No, he goes for a sis gun. All right. Probably, uh, probably a good choice instead of the combat engineers. So he is gonna save up for the big T thirty four slash eighty five now. I see. I see. Still a good grenade there. Borbatcher trying to dodge it, but some men still got caught. And what a good rifle grenade that was from Stormjäger. And here's the Panzer IV. Oh, man. Another couple of kills. One more. Back to base. And now it's up to uh, the tank and the combat engineers to protect the CIS guns. That's a lot of infantry, and there's the tank. Guards coming in, pack gun setting up shop. All right, the pack gun getting mowed down by the guards, and this is a dead squad if I have ever seen one. <sighs> Leaving Boro Batcher without any combat engineers. Yeah, took care of the pack. Gonna see a D crew here. T34 is being pushed off the map. 
Pantophor is back for another <coughs> For another hello oh, 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 oh. Could see a wipe, could see a wipe Could see another wipe actually Uh, that's one wipe This one here got away though And now, okay Storm Jaeger taking hits after hits up there Leaving him down two Gren squads And Borobetch is still in the fight up here Oh, even the 2-2-2? Two, two, two? What is... Okay. <laughs> Said the T-34. Get out of here. But now the Panzer 4. Oh, he could also try to circle this thing here. But then again, he already has a heavy machine gun decrewing that. So <laughs> that's fine. Uh-oh. Yeah, Panzer 4 is likely to go down as the... Uh, 85 strolls on into the battlefield leaving Stormjaeger in a bit of predicament here Though he is gonna replace the lost one here and Borobatch up up close personal takes out the Panther 4 Did the Panther 4 really score another hit there in zombie mode? I think it did Whoa I don't even know where to begin to describe this thing, but the bodies here. I think they speak for themselves. Whoa. That was a bloody battle. And I'm not really sure who came out on top. <laughs> no, I'm not. Let's have a look at the army value. Oh, looks like it was. According to the graph here, Boar Batcher. Oh, there we are. Okay, fairly even now. Fairly even. Just had to update the graphs. Can we have a look here? Okay, yeah, but still. Army graphs says they are very even. <laughs> so, let's call it a draw. <laughs> Or should we? Stormjäger did lose two Grins and the Panther 4. And the 2-2-2. I suppose Borobatcher, he lost the T-34 combat engineer. So yeah, Borobatcher. Borobatcher actually got the, the better deal of, of the two of them. Which is probably why now that they are equal, seeing as Stormjäger did actually have the lead, I dare say, at one point. Hmm. Okay, Stormjäger, 500 manpower in the bank. He's one minute away, less than a minute away from getting out a new Panzer IV. Borobatia, he's still far away from getting out in T-34-85. So it might be a, an opportunity here for Borobatia to replace uh, some of the lost infantry. Oh, grenade! <clears throat> right down. Is tracking that guy? Oh, well, so much for tracking. <laughs> what an overshot! Mortar team. Mortar team. Well, Borobatcha being confined to this little corner here, is looking to break out with the help of the 120 millimeter mortar, and it's gonna do a lot of helping versus this, that, and this. Uh, once they're on the field, of course. <laughs> Stormjäger just bringing them home for a little bit of reinforcement and healing. How nice of him. I hear mortar fire. Whee! Boom! One shot, one down. And the guy who actually got took the main blunt of the hit is still alive. While the gunner, he... Uh, <laughs> he collapsed. Cheeky Telemines down. New Panzer 4. Things are looking really good for Stormjäger now. 
Good map control, good army composition. Bor Badger, on the other hand, um, just needs one more tank. And then he too is looking mighty fine. Once you also get his the map back under his control, or batch of stabilizing. Whoa. 120 millimeter here, waste no time. Ho ho ho! And look how clumped up they are. One more good hit from the mortar. Yes, comrade. The hunt is on. And the Panther Force like, huh. Must have been the wind. Nah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Trying to get a flank. Oh. Um, death by mortar. Don't see any shells though nearby. Ooh, narrowly dodged that one. And for some reason, there is a bit of negative cover surrounding this munitions point for reasons. Trying to get down to barbed wire there, but the timing not quite allowing for it. Borovac is engineered down, and he's down on 98 points right now. However, soon he will have the fuel needed to bring out yet another 85 variant. <sighs> yes, we can see Borovac has managed to break out of his little corner, but, but the VPs, the VPs. It's gonna be his uh, next objective probably gonna fight over the middle um, I don't think he quite has uh, the infantry to spare to actually send a unit over here to draw some attention away from Stormjaeger uh, front right here Hundred and twenty millimeter doing its thing to decrew this thing. Oh yeah, very nice. Also spotting scopes installed on one tanks. Grand squad even going down to the eighty-five variant here. Oh my! Dropping in LMG. Would be a combat engineer that could pick that up, or even one of the Stormjaeger's grenadiers. Would mean that he would have to traverse over here but nope command tank, on the field. command tank with its defensive aura giving you surrounding units a 10% damage reduction bonus received a damage reduction bonus <laughs> it's not like the unit surrounding this thing becomes weaker <laughs> no quite the opposite all right charging in with 10% extra health in the bank, they can survive one more shot from a medium tank. Or an AT gun for that matter. However, now they are out of range. No longer benefiting from the... Uh, from the tank's aura. Moving in. There we go. But a flank is coming up. Oh, gets a cis gun. Up. But there's the T-34. This is, uh, yeah, bye bye T 34. Uh, Panzer 4 down. Still have. Still have the command vehicle using its aura here to uh, keep this thing in a better condition. <laughs> uh, but this thing here, the packs, the packs. Now they've begun firing, but here comes the infantry, and the mortar is even out here. <laughs> oh, gets it! 
might actually survive here no abandoned and panther 4 is going bye bye due to pgrs fire and well soon gonna be another at grenade here <gasps> you cannot crew it with this and panther faust engaged Ooh, the turret oh never mind the turret didn't make it over there because it went down to other means so back to square one in terms of tanks Borrow batches, you lost. 2 T34 slash 85. Stormier got two Panzer Force and the command tank. But these things got decrewed. Stole a pack. Machine gun on the field. Oh, that's a good grenade. And that's another grenade. Grenade galore. Could see the end of it here. Guy with the minesweeper is like, yup, they're out of metal. Don't know what command expects me to do here. I only have mine sweeper. Is he gonna sacrifice a vet grin for at this? No. Well, they both agreed on that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take care of this. 120 millimeter still in play. Let's have a look at the army value here. <laughs> Again, slight lead apparently to uh, Borobatia, but otherwise, man, we are almost lower at the beginning than the, of the match. Both players have just been <clears throat> giving all of their best trying to knock the opponent out, leaving them both still standing, but very little stamina left. I think a tank here got cancelled. Uh, yeah, Boar Batcher, he wants the big T-34. Well, Stormjaeger, in a surprise move here, will be the first one to bounce back. Usually it is the Soviets that, that's quickest to bounce back. Ooh, and look at this, Borobatcher even managed to get over here with a infantry squad on capture. Pretty neat. Then again, Stormjager, he's over here with the one and only Pioneer with the Minesweeper. Brand new sis, a packed pack gun, packed with six crewmen. Uh oh, that's a grenade about to happen here. Yep. Nice damage, and that's a decrewed uh, machine gun. Even marking the Panzer IV here. Oh, this could be a disaster for Stormjäger now that the 85 is on the field. Oh, the pack gun down. Did he destroy the machine gun? Looks like it. Trying to cut down the guards, sending them running back. Armor support is here. Mortar is also there to support. We are losing territory. Ooh. The pioneers managed to uh, pick up the lost LMG there. Neat. Another grenade over the hitch. This time. Four batches dodged in a way that only one man down. Fired up. Actually, this is pretty tense. Four batch of far down. Stormjäger trying to maintain his position. But Borobatcha, the Soviet war machine, 
is up and running now. A new command tank for Storm Jaeger. Well, well, well. Ah, I miss. Uh oh, base inspection time. Base inspection time. Um, uh, pack gun. Should be able to get some good shots in here on the T-34. No, it stays behind the building. Sneaky. Bounce. Command tank. Ooh, still on its way. And, okay, since the T-34 rolling over that sandbag <laughs> position that they just finished building. What a meanie. It's a triple cap for Borobacha. Storm Jaeger won't have too much time at this rate. Sending over one Grin squad to capture this. And now a Katusha for Borobacha. It's gonna be a lot of indirect fire for him. The mortar and the Katusha together. It could spell doom for the pack guns. <sighs> yeah, and Stormjäger, he doesn't really have an answer to the pack guns. No indirect fire. So there's no veterancy bonuses here that enhances the, uh, the aura. Oh, cancels the Katusha in favor of a T-34. I say that is fine. This 120 mm mortar is sufficient versus the two team weapons. Stormjäger still far away from a from a new tank. Doesn't help that he's been cut off. He's up against now two T-34s slash 85. Good thing that he has his packs. But a triple cap is about to hit Stormjäger. Yeah, this has been captured. This has been captured. There we are, more guards to make life more difficult for Stormjäger. Oh, catches, uh, catches the AT guns out of position. Might score. Might score a wipe here. Oh man, what is these overshots? Come on. Hit! Close to decrewing. Very close. Danger close now. Oh, gets a hit in though. And there we are. T-34 coming in. And yeah, he silenced the AT guns, but... Whoops. Faust it. Down a T-34. That was a little one. Command tank still alive. The pack might get off two more shots. Sadly, he needs one more. <laughs> Come on. Come on. A Faust. Anything? Takes it down. This is really close. And the command tank here. Ah, guards down. Combat engineers down. Oh man. The PGRS is, might be able to take it down. No, it's escaping. Wow. Um, yeah, he, these things can still be crude. Uh, dang. All in all, I feel like Borobacha actually got the best of this engagement. Since Stormjäger is left without his AT guns. Did lose a Panzer IV. Took down a T-34 and a, a little T-34, but still. 
But then again, on the other hand, Storm Jäger, he'll be able to replace the, the Panzer IV now. Whereas Borbatcher cannot quite replace the 85 just yet. Oh, what? It's, he's really bombing the base with the 120 millimeter. What? Hundred and eighteen versus sixty-six. Stormjäger is about to get majority of the VPs on the map. Ooh, right smack on them. <laughs> Just managed to get it neutralized. Look at all this infantry here. Hopefully the command tank will be able to help out. Another grenade, only one time. Only one model this time. There we are, double packs. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, two squads. Good. Should you consider some S mines? There are no minesweepers for Bora Batch, but then again, this thing here that's coming in could just run over them. And he can afford the S mines, yes. Just gonna build that. Here's trouble. Going in. That's one D crew, AT gun. Going down. And then the damage here. He's working on this. He just needs one more model. Just one more model. There we go. A bit of chaotic dive here for Stormyaka, but he is making it work. Or is he? Here comes the 85. Pack gun back in Stormyaka's hands. T-34, allow me to introduce myself. He wanted the command tank, but gets stuck on the Panzer IV right in front of a pack gun. And Borobatch is like, let me at him! And he misses. And yeah, this is... Uh-oh, infantry coming up there. What? He's not getting this? Not! <laughs> okay, he got it in zombie mode, but still... Uh, he still has the Panzer IV here to deal with, and that's GG. Borobatcher taps out in a crazy match this was. We had some of the most crazy engagement uh, that we've seen in a long time. And if you thought so too, hit like down there, because this was just chaotic. If you thought that this was... oh. Absolutely not professional. Oh no, then leave a dislike. Okay? But uh, regardless, consider hitting that subscribe button down there. If you want more. Anywho. That's all for me. Hope you loved it. Hope you liked it. I'll see you wonderful people later. Bye bye. But hey, I know you. You want some stats, and I want stats too. Uh, let's see, survivalists, lots of damage taken. Core combat unit were actually the combat engineers. Can we see Stormjager here? All right, just grins and packs. Here we are. Most damage dealt by Stormjager. Lots of units killed for Stormjager too. Phew -ee. And here we see the graphs again. Or Batch and Stormjäger going to town in these uh, frantic engagement dives that we saw. Absolutely perfect. Resource float was floaty and points held. They were indeed held. And here we see Boro Batch being stuck in his corner, but then breaking out, getting most of the map control. Oh, well, but we, we know how it ended. Anywho, that's what it is for this time, you wonderful people. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.